uh, founded and now conducts uh, the London Musical Theatre Orchestra, um, which is the first and we're pretty sure still the only specialist professional musical theatre uh, orchestra in the world, and therefore the best. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was playing through Phantom, I just I thought it would be really fun to do it with, with an orchestra instead. And so I posted uh, on, uh, on the big musician groups on Facebook. I'm sure lots of you are members of UK DEP Musicians Needed, Musicians London Calling, all of those sort of things. Like basically a rubbish version of Encore. <laughs> <laughs> and to my complete surprise, um, we had 250 replies in 24 hours saying, yeah, I'd love to come and play through Phantom. Like, of course, sign me up, that'd be great. I went onto the Cambridge Careers website, because uh, I was literally at this point, you know, like, what am I going to do? Uh, how can I combine engineering and musical theatre and go-karting, which is my other great life. <laughs> uh, I went on there, there was only one link it wasn't like a normal website where it's like, oh, I can click on all these things. Just a single link which said, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> uh, and I thought that was so brilliant that I took a screenshot of it and tweeted it. And at this point, this producer saw it and said, so you mean you're not just going to go straight into theatre? Uh, wow. So, yeah. so literally social media could have helped you yeah. kickstart. Yeah, that's it. Is. Yeah. <laughs> I, this, there's no point in going to a concert unless the violins are there going like, yeah, we're playing, we're having such a good time, it's amazing, I just want to groove along with this music. There's no point in going to a concert if, if the lead trumpeter is going to blast out this top B flat but look like that while he's doing it. I want him to be sweating. Like, I, want, I want people to look at him and go, how is he doing that? Like, it's so high and it's so loud, how is one mouth doing that? And in order to really make people go, Wow, that's so cool. He's got to be really trying to get it, otherwise it's boring to look at. We don't just book players because they're good at playing their instruments, because everyone is sort of good at playing their instrument. You know, like there's uh, some people are obviously, you know, there's that, there's that level, and then there are different levels of it, but I, I just want people who really love musical theatre. Now, that's not easy to find in professional orchestral musicians, because professional orchestral musicians are trained not to like musical theatre. So they have to get through this barrier of the Royal Academy, the Royal College, the Guild Hall, the Trinity, etc, etc, etc. If I'm not sitting there in my seat, either going, if it's like a band, I'm like, oh. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, oh, you know, if I'm not doing that, or tapping if it's a groovy number, or like I'm trying to dance along if it's a jazz number, then I just sort of think, well, we're not doing our job as performers, because that's, to me, what, what art is, but, you know, it's, it's got to be, well, I just, I just love having fun with it, uh, and I think without fun, it's, it's going to die a death. Hamilton is beyond anything that has ever been conceived for the stage. Well, what he's done is he said, well, no, like, rest is obviously boring, really out of date, but rap, think of the number of stories you can tell in rap, because you just have words and rhythms and grooves. Uh, yeah, the, the future is people um, taking musical theatre and writing what audiences want to hear rather than what they want audiences to hear, if that makes sense. Would anyone like to ask a question? We've got one, two, one, one, two, three. We have all in this order. One, two, three. And if there are quick questions, we can have more questions. No pressure. Developing talent is actually um, uh, is, is a very fundable thing in terms of <laughs> and so we've been very lucky uh, to, to have all of these uh, foundations put in touch with us. And they, they haven't all been successful, um, but we've had 
uh, everyone who we've been to, gone to with the idea has been very keen to hear more about us. Uh, so yeah, that, that's how we, we raise the money. I want people to come and, and tell a story with their instrument, because that's what musical theatre is about. We, we do musical theatre because music supports the story. Um, the story doesn't support the music, the story comes first, and then we put music to that story. So the story's got to be first, first and foremost. Thank you.